MCA. Ocala. Twenty-five minutes before eleven o'clock. Have you ever met a family that you just loved the whole family? Well, I did. Their last name is Habitat for Humanity. Yay. I met Tori Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> I met Joanne Habitat for Humanity a long time ago. I met Brad Habitat for Humanity, and, and Brad has since passed away. And and since then, I came to know your last names as well. Uh, of course, I have to look at yours because I always forget your last name. Uh, Tori is not. Aaron's. I know it's not Habitat for Humanity, but that's no, what I, I think of yours. Tori Habitat. That's do you think me. of me as Larry W O C A? Do you think? Yes, that? I do. Yeah, actually, uh, see, and that's Robin W O C A. See, this is our family. You have such a lovely family. I mean, I love the Habitat for Humanity family, Thank and you. Uh, it's it's so nice knowing you. So, ter- we love Tori, you guys too. Tori Aaron's, and we've done so many things together. We're doing yep. another one a week from Sunday. Our part is. Tiny, tiny compared to what you guys do, but it's it's fun. It's always fun, and we always love that you invite us to do. We love having you. The there. music, uh, Tori is. I have it right here. Robin wrote it out for me. The executive assistant of Habitat for Humanity of Marion County, and Joanne Black is the development director of Habitat for Humanity. And absent from the room is Dave Lehman, who's the executive director who took over Brad Nimmo's place. Right? Yes. Did I say that right? Yep. And, and Brad passed away. We love yes. Brad. My gosh, what a great contribution he made to everything we do in this town and what you, do, what you guys do specifically at Habitat. So anyway, thank you for coming in. You got the uh, sixth annual uh, Bolathon coming up this uh, a week from Sunday, right? Yep. So how's it going? How are you doing, first of all? Good, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Very good. Thank I'm you. Following you guys on Facebook and uh, just getting to know you even better. We have a lot of stuff going on. We're posting on Facebook a lot, um, different events and just everyday happenings with the habitat how many, how many uh homes are you currently working on right now we're working on three houses really yep out in the shores oh all in the shores mm-hmm. wow in the shores yeah. are they already built and you're refurbishing them or are they brand no, new? these are brand new builds mm-hmm. brand yep. new builds wow and and how easy or hard is it uh to get volunteers to, to work on those houses not so difficult to get volunteers. You get we're actually, people love coming out. We're actually booked up until October for volunteers now. Oh, really? We have our uh, the house. One of the houses, our strawberry house, that we're building. That uh-huh. we had all the funds that came from the strawberry festival. Okay, and I didn't know if that was the last name of the people moving in. No, it was, okay. it's called the strawberry house. Okay, and uh, <laughs> our coordinator, volunteer coordinator, said so we're booked up until uh, October, which is awesome. And you mean a month from now or, or a year and a month from now? A month from now. I mean, okay. that's how far she's been. In a, normally, you know, we're okay. looking for volunteers and everybody's been calling for us, and which is great. So how does this work? If I called to volunteer, you would say, okay, can you come on this date? You give me a date and I'm, I'm scheduled to be a volunteer on that specific date? That's what Brittany will do for you. That's okay. our volunteer okay. coordinator. You contact her. You tell oh, okay. her when you're available, and she'll tell you what we have available. And, and if we don't have construction going on, she'll see if you want to go to the ReStore, which is you know one of our, our stores that we have, and you can volunteer there. Oh, okay, okay. And what about the skills necessary to actually build? What do I need to be? At nothing at all? No. No, just, our just site supervisors instruct you on how to swing your hammer properly, how to paint properly, do trim Whatever it takes. We're there to teach you. And how many hours is normally put in per day? About four. Four hours? Four to six. I yep. just wanted the listeners to hear that. I, I, I think you did more than four when you did it, didn't you? Yeah, the yeah. women's build, Larry's yeah. sister and I. Well, it is continuous. Like so yeah. a lot of people come out multiple times. Uh-huh. But on a general day, it's between four and six hours that they come out so to volunteer. For, for those of you who've ever wanted to volunteer to build a house, you just kind of give a thumb, got a thumbnail sketch of what it's like. You call. You get a date, you show up for four hours, and you feel really good about yourself. You yes. help helped build a house for somebody. Yes. A, uh, a friend of ours, David Wright, he works real heavy with yes, you guys. Yes, he does. He, he's, he goes to my church, and he's a really nice fellow. Yeah. And he's one of our golden hammers. Mm, yes, yes, yes. David is fabulous. What do you have to do to be a golden hammer? You have to put in so many hours. I believe it's 75 hours uh-huh. um, of continuous volunteering, and then you become a golden hammer. Nice. Yeah. A lot of retirees, you don't have to be a retiree to right. be a Golden Hammer, but most of our Golden Hammers are retirees. It helps, because if you're working, it's kind of hard to find the time. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So the Bolathon is another fundraiser that you do. The Strawberry yep. Festival is, is one. Is that is the Strawberry Festival the biggest one you do? Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah. 
And uh, so this is a, another one that's not as big, but you have a lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun. It's a blast. What do you look forward to? Is it the sixth year. What are you looking forward to the most at the Bolathon? Well, we're doing some changes this year. We're going to have a few different contests, like costume contests we're going to do. Oh, really? Um, yeah. We've had a f- over the years, we've had a few people come in in costumes. Uh-huh. And it's been a lot of fun. They've been really enthusiastic and everything else. But now we want to get everybody involved with it. So we're putting the word out more. Come in a costume. Show your team's spirit. If you want to dress up from your employer, like show who you work for, you know, that's great. We want to do something like that. Um, we're also going to do something like me- Let's Make a Deal. Uh-huh. You remember the old game show, Let's yeah. Make a Deal? Yeah, yeah. We're going to do something like that and ask people who are participating in the bowl-a-thon if they have things in their purse or their wallets or on their being. And if they do and they're the first ones oh, up that's there, fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, then cool. they'll win a prize for it. Yeah, yeah. So, And, of course, we have trivia. Um, we're just going to... Are we going to be able to hear this? In other words, Absolutely. So there'll be an overhead thing where somebody's saying, all right, I'm with Jennifer, and Jennifer, do you have a clothespin in your wallet? Or, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We're going to call people up. Well, for Let's Make a Deal, I'm thinking we're just going to call it out to the audience. We're going to stop what oh, we're okay. doing and first call who comes first up person with who comes up with it. Uh, oh, we'll really? Win a prize. Yep. Yep. What are you, you going to ask for? Oh, you, you can't tell. No, I can't okay, tell. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll, everybody will stuff their pocketbooks. Uh, we're not going to tell. Hmm. <laughs> but we are Habitat for Humanity. That should be a good hint for people. Anything. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. A nail. Yeah. But, but, but it has to be a specific nail, like a certain gauge, right? No, I, I'm, I'm sure she won't be that. <laughs> picky, but she'll probably may say an A out. hammer. If somebody has a hammer. <laughs> you Come never on. know. Oh, that's fun. You never so know. So what can we do to help? Do you need prizes? Something to give away? Are you giving away prizes to us? Uh, maybe I can find something. That would be wonderful. We'd love that. You know, we speak to authors all the time. Oh. Maybe, I don't know if books go over well or not. Habitat. Sure. We would love that. Thank you. Yep. Uh, are you all filled up now with teams, or can people no. still register? We still have openings. Uh-huh. Um, they can go to habitatocala.org and look for the logo for the Bolathon. Click that on and register your team. You could register anywhere from four to six players per mm-hmm. team. Um, what if you have a person that wants to go bowling, they don't have a team? That's fine. We can. That's an unassigned player, and we can make sure that you get on a team, somebody you'll be happy with and mm-hmm. have a good time with. We oh, have a wonderful. few of those right now. Do you know when oh, we nice. when we played there? Um, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. We we got a pretzel from the bowling alley. They make the best pretzels in town. Oh, yeah. Bowling alley food is great. I don't I don't insult any of the other pretzel makers in town, but the bowling alley pretzel is a really good, good pretzel. Gas. So we we played at a nursing home, maybe three weeks later, and we were doing an Oktoberfest. So I said, let's get some pretzels. So we went and we got 20 pretzels from the, from the polling yeah, house. Funny. That's oh, those great. Pe- well, we and, bought them. And the activities director said, they probably won't eat the whole thing. They're kind of big. She was wrong. Every one of those people <laughs> wow. wanted the whole pretzel. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It's, it's always fun. Plus, it's loud, so we can make mistakes. Nobody knows when we're playing music that we're making mistakes, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so you're doing the, the Let's Make a Deal. Yep. And, uh, we're going to have some trivia, Habitat trivia, that it, we're going to give prizes mm-hmm. away. Um, we also have things, silent auction that we do. We have tickets to Disney World and SeaWorld and Busch Gardens, a whole table full of things. Oh, yeah. Bring your dollars because oh, you, you yes. buy a chance. Is that how yes. that works? Yep. Yeah, we did that last The year. silent auction is, you know, you have to bid on it. You have to bid on it. Okay. But we do have raffles that we're going to do. That's always fun. Yeah. That's always fun. And you're you're still looking for sponsors. Yes, we're still looking for sponsors. Mm-hmm. Yep. So a sponsor would do um, do what? Ha- pay money and get a sign up on the on the alley? Um, it depends on the level that they sponsor for. But yes, everybody has a lane sponsorship. What we do is once you sponsor your level, we make up a sign with all your information to your business and we hang it over the lane. We also post it on Facebook. Um, we have multiple pa- Facebook pages and we put it on our website. And the fifteen hundred dollars sponsorship is filled. It That's is filled. pretty awesome. It is filled. That's pretty awesome. Oh really? Can you say who filled I it? Like it that. was Cox. Who? Cox. 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 Oh wow. Yeah. Well, good for them. Yep. Good for them. Uh, we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is such an awesome organization. They do such great work, and the people there are just as nice as as Joanne and Tori are right now here. If, if you want to do anything, volunteer. If you want to do something else, go bowling on a, a week from Sunday at the AMF Galaxy East Lanes on Maricamp Road. And Robin and I will be there playing music. We should come in a costume is what I think.
Oh, okay. Right, That'll we'll, be fun. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Tuesday, partly sunny skies with a high of 86 to 90. It'll be mainly clear Tuesday night with a low of 68 in some inland spots, 76 at the coast. Wednesday, a mix of sun and clouds, high 87 to 91. Thursday, partly sunny with a thunderstorm or two in the area, the high 87 to 91. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. On this episode of What Not to Do, brought to you by Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. I love vacations, but it's good to come home. Um, is the pool overflowing? We don't have a pool. And even if we did, it wouldn't be on the second floor. Oh. I told you before we left to turn off the water main. I thought you said take down the weather vane. We don't have one of those either. Yeah, I was wondering why you said that. It does make more sense now. Okay, genius. Don't just stand there. Cut the main water off. Okay, I'll get the chainsaw. Wait, what? No! What do we do when there's a plumbing issue? Oh, I got this one. I'll be right back. I said no chainsaw. Shut the water off and call Mike Scott Plumbing. Uh, Of course. I definitely was not going for the blowtorch. Uh-huh. The number should be etched in your memory, but just in case. 866-314-4443. Okay, got it. 866-314-4443. On next week's episode of What Not To Do. Really? A mariachi band? Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Are you a list maker? Got your day planner laid out to structure your day? Well, here's something to add to your list. Make time for something really important. Visit Highland Memorial Park, because how you prepare for that moment is so important. Why Highland? Sure, it's a beautiful place, but aside from the beauty and the quiet reflection, practical people will appreciate the many options. Take a tour and make some serious plans. The Highland staff will confidentially show you all options and payment plans. Call today, 369-1020. Highland Memorial Park. Peace and reflection for your family. Veterans are the foundation upon which our freedom is built. Listen to The Source WOCA each Thursday at 9 a.m. to Veterans News with Hank Whittier from Vets Helping Vets. You'll hear tributes, information on veterans' issues, and stories that will make you laugh, cry, and feel proud. Veterans News always focuses on the military, past and present, and on our first responders. Veterans News is brought to you each week by Bob Wines Camellia Gardens and Nursery, keeping you blooming since 1952. All right, 12 minutes before 11 o'clock. Sometimes I get so into what an organization is about, I forget the reason that they come to visit us. And in this case, they came for one simple reason. They're looking for people to bowl. If you want to go bowling and have a really good time and have some fun, uh, pay attention because you're going to learn about an opportunity happening a week from Sunday. And uh, Tori Ahrens and Joanne Black are here from Habitat for Humanity, Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. I always get the of and the four mixed up. So, so uh, you're looking for bowlers. Yep. What do they need to know? How much it cost? Cost is fifteen dollars per person. Okay. Or if you have a team of six, it's eighty dollars. Okay. So and you save ten dollars. And that's everything. That's everything. The shoes and everything. Shoes, games, up to Shirt. three games. Shirts. Um, we give out goodie bags to every participant. The goodie bags consist of a T-shirt, an event T-shirt, as well as items from all our sponsors. And this is on a Sunday. On a Sunday a, afternoon. A week yeah. from Sunday, and uh, the date is the eighteenth, September eighteenth. And what time? Registration starts at twelve thirty. And bowling starts at 1.30. Do they call you to pre-register, or how do you know who's going to be there? Well, they have to go to our website okay. and sign up. They can go to www.habitatocala.org and click on our logo for the Bowlathon, and they can register right there. Um, Everything's right there. And the sponsorships that are still available, like Robin said, the $1,500 one is filled. Yep. There's a $750 gold sponsorship, and there are three available there. And tell me what that purse, what that sponsor gets. You get some logo placements? Yes, they get logo placements. They get their logo actually on the T-shirt. Uh, great placement on the back. Um, we put their logo on Facebook and our website with a link on our website mm-hmm. to their business. Um 
I don't know. Help me out here. <laughs> they get t- they get a bowling team if they want if they want to bowl. They team, can have yep. a team on there. Oh, okay, okay. And they get a lane sponsor, so their name will be above a lane, which and, is. R- and they would bowl on their own lane, I would presume, or no, not necessarily. Well, it, if they sponsor a lane, do they bowl on their lane? If, if that's where they want to go, you okay. know, we would do anything they want because they're a sponsor. But yeah. if they want to go somewhere else, so they can have advertisement in two areas we're okay with ah, that too Ah, i see yeah mm-hmm. yeah that makes sense so they, they can be sponsoring lane 10 but they're bowling on lane 40 and, and now it's two places for advertisement yep. right yep mm-hmm. so the rest of us help simply by bowling we show up to bowl and uh and have fun it's always a big party i always. mean you've got so much going on it's, it's i don't know how you keep up with it all <laughs> i'm always amazed there's always a lot of help <laughs> yeah and yeah. you had a pin we have bowling pins. Last year, we uh, just had regular bowling pins, but this year we want to do something different. Uh-huh. So we, we teamed up and partnered with Painting with a Twist, one that's local. Okay. And they're, all their artists painted these bowling pins, and they're themed. They could be for Halloween, for Christmas. Uh, there's a fish. A penguin. Oh, wow. They're beautiful, and we're going to be auctioning them off as well, and you can also win them during raffling. But what a way to, uh, you know, win something and, and bid on something. It's beautiful. Wait till you see these ball pins. We did do a sneak preview on our Facebook page, mm-hmm. so you get to look at them. Oh, nice. And the artists were phenomenal. We're going to display who the artists were, so you know. And But from Painting with the Twist, they all did this on their own. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So it's like a miniature version of Horse Fever, but with bowling pins. Correct. Yes. Ah, wow. And the themes were what? Well, you've said some of them. There were some holiday themes, um, comic book characters. Yes. Uh, minions. Oh, my there. daughter loves <laughs> minions. I got a, a peacock with actual peacock feathers. A fish. Uh-huh. Yeah, a fish. They put There's feathers on the bowling pin? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. oh yeah. <laughs> it's a the, lot of fun. The they're, bowling they're pins awesome. are beautiful. I got a bit on the minion one. <laughs> That's nice and there's a snowman, uh, Dracula. Snowman uh, seems like it would be easy I mean, with a pin, right? Oh, yes. It sort of looks like a bowling pin yeah. already. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I could do, I think I could do that one. Three three dots and the nose. <laughs> and put a little scarf on the ghost you were telling us about. <laughs> what? Oh, the ghost, yes. Yes. <laughs> Casper. Go. I could do Casper on a bowling pin. <laughs> Will we be able to meet some of the families there that Habitat has helped? Yes, the um, families that are working to get their homes right now Mm -hmm. uh, will be there. They have to come in and work for that day and help us out. Um, As far as families who are in in their homes right now, we are trying to get a couple of them to come and join us that day. Mm -hmm. One of the things that always impressed me is that Habitat is a ministry, and uh, and Mm -hmm. you actually uh, have no problem... uh, mentioning that when you talk in fact it says it right on here doesn't it celebrating faith in action so that that's always been yeah. impressive to me and you always have um, some kind of Bible <coughs> verses that you do for the homes before you you know after you put the front walls up and yes. people are allowed to write things yep. they put their blessings on the walls good wishes you know in their new home so it's a lot of fun. You think Jesus went bowling? I think I think he would like Isn't it. Isn't that what we hear when every time the thunder <laughs> the th- comes? That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's correct. That's what they say, right? That's right. I wonder, I wonder if there's any sports at all in the Bible. Do they mention sports? I, I they mention music, know. right? Yeah, they do. I have no, no idea. Imagine, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> It must be somewhere. I mean, I don't uh, know. <laughs> back in those days, while well, they fed the Christians to the lions, that was that was a sport, uh, I guess. Yeah, I but guess. <laughs> are you going to have somebody out there that if somebody would like a home, if they would come to the bowling alley that day, is there some direction that you could give them? So Absolutely. That we have information out um, for anybody who wants information about home ownership, even volunteering also. Mm-hmm. Um, and Heather will be there. Heather's our family services director, so she can give information also. And the volunteering is really huge in our community because I know when Doreen and I volunteered, you know, there are people from all monetary walks of life in our community, and you don't know who, you know, who is who there, and you just gather together, and you just have such a wonderful, wonderful time. People are people. Yeah. Right. Yep. Is is the bowling uh, tournament? Uh, is there a winner? Is that someone with the highest score? Does that person win a prize? Of course. There's a couple awards that we're going to be giving away. One's going to be the highest scoring team, the highest scoring individual, the highest team fundraisers. Because of course we want all, every team to raise more money. Okay. So the team that raises the most money, in addition to their register their registration fee, will win a prize and also the best costume. The team with the best costume okay. will also win an award. 
So we're looking forward to that. So how did they raise money? What did they do? Do you ask their friends? Ask their coworkers? Um, just, get on just, Facebook. Just I mean, get money. Lo- okay. I didn't. I, I didn't know if they were doing it in the bowling alley. Were they, they selling could. candy bars or something? No, they can go around and ask everybody <laughs> to add to their pot to make it bigger, and and that's what we're looking for the team that raises the most money. Hmm. Because it's all about all the proceeds will go to the construction how, of a new home. So how much do you typically raise? How much did you raise last year? Maybe that's the best question. Total amount yeah. overall, we raised fifteen, a little over fifteen thousand. Wow! Oh, wow, that's yeah. fabulous. Is that, is that? I mean, that sounds good to me. Was it good to you? It's good. Well, yeah. We want more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we always want more. We're, we're setting our standards a little higher this year and hopefully get up to 20,000. Wow. So, and we'll yeah. be busking, playing playing music for tips. And, yeah. And, I mean, everywhere you turn, somebody's asking for money. So we're like one of many people doing that. That's so. okay. We love having you there. P- people drop money into the, what do you use? The accordion case, I think, last year. Oh, no, no. We used a uh, yeah, helmet. Hard hat. We used a hard hat. Hard hat. That's, that's right. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was really We good. had a pink one, too, didn't we? Yeah, a we pink did. Hard hat. Yeah, it was nice. Oh, another one? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you guys have had your share of trials. I mean, you had your trailers broken into, your tools were stolen. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Things like this over the years. Over the and years, you've yes. really, you know, made a comeback because yes. once that happens, you put the word out, and then everybody gets together, and all of a sudden you have all of your tools and yep. supplies back. The community has been very good to us. Uh, when people go to the restore, you're not just furniture your other things we have building supplies there um there's tile there like you said there's furnishing there's appliances there's tvs there's jewelry dishes whatever you could think of just like a sears or Mm -hmm. something it's there it's there and we ask them people if you're going to do renovation remodeling bring all your you know donate all your old stuff to us Mm -hmm. and we can you know sell it at you know at a discounted rate and at least it gets rid of it, which you don't need anymore, and we'll take it. We do have a phone call. Let's take that call. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air with Tori and Joanne. Yes, yeah, so good morning. This sounds like a great event. I'm hoping to uh, participate. Uh, are you going to be using the uh, handicap system in this tournament? Uh, that's a good question. Um, handicap as far as for, for throwing the ball? Yeah, as far as your score, uh, you know. Oh, (laughs) okay. I'm sorry I misunderstood (laughs) that. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. We've never come across that before. Okay. I know some bowlers that are not really good bowlers can use a handicap to kind of help them along a little bit, you know. And, of course, you got the the ace bowlers, too, that uh, it would kind of knock them down a little bit and even it all out. So So how how do I register for this uh, bowling event? Um, if you go to our website, it's habitatocala.org. Okay. That's our homepage, and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the Habitat Bowling logo. Just click that on, and registration's right there at bowlathon.net. Uh, when do would be the last uh, t- uh, date to, uh, to apply for that? We ask that you sign up no later than the 15th of this month. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for calling. Yes. And, and please add that you your shirt size to there. We want to oh, make sure everybody you. gets yep. their shirts. Okay, I think hopefully he heard that. Yeah, add your shirt size. Well, we're looking forward to seeing him. We know uh, Hugh. Yep. That's Hugh. He's uh, he supports so many things. Wonderful. He and his wife that we uh, that we promote here at WOCA. Oh, good. That's yeah. wonderful. So, gosh, everybody, come on out. This is going to be fun. It's a week from Sunday. Robin mentioned uh, that we need to be specific about which bowling alley it yeah. is. It's um, the Galaxy East. The address is 3225 Southeast Maricamp Road. Okay. It's right next to McDonald's on Maricamp Road. That's the landmark I always yep. remember. McDonald's. Yes. It's right there across the street. And there's the Marion Veterinary Hospital, I think. Is that what it's yes. called? Marion Veterinary? Yep. Oh, the Veterinarian Hospital, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's right behind it. Yep. Uh, uh, if, if you have something on your wish list and somebody wants to bring a donation for Habitat to be used in the home, can they bring it on that Sunday? Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll make sure it gets to the the right area that it needs to go. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tori and Joanne, you ladies do so much good work in our community. I hope you are thanked. I hope you realize we appreciate it as a community. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for everything much. you do. Well, yes. We're happy to call you our friends, the, the yeah, Habitat for Humanity family. Yes. yes. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Tori and Joanne, thank you both. We'll see you a week from Sunday. A week from Sunday. Yes. Yes. And everybody else, go bowling. Come and, come and d- go bowling. Rob and I are not bowling. We're, we're busking. busking. We're busking. But we'll, we'll be there. Can't wait to see you all. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. We'll be right back.